Lopez here, coming at you from LopezHasTheScene.com. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about marketing. And marketing is very important. And you have to realize that regardless of what you have to promote, what you have to sell, you're in the marketing business. You're in the people business. Now, I know this is hard, maybe hard for you to uh, get or understand. But see, it's not about your product. The product is just something to exchange for money. That's all it is. Because if it was about, if it was only about your product, McDonald's would never sell. Because McDonald's food is, let's just be honest, it's not the best food in the world. So if you're a hip-hop head like I am, I, I like Jay-Z. This is his new CD. This is the cover. And this is the back of the CD. Right? Now, you know, there's a lot of people that say... Billboards don't work, banner ads don't work, online and offline. You might have heard this. If you haven't heard it, you will eventually. If you stick with me long enough, or, and, you, and if you stay online line long enough, or if you attend conferences in your area, in your town, or in your city, people will say it doesn't work. But well, here's the deal. Jay-Z had banners and billboards all over the world. Los Angeles, New York, let's see what else, Paris, uh, Berlin, Washington, D.C., London, let's see what else we got, North Korea, Toronto, uh, London, Los Angeles, banners on New York City, of course, Brooklyn, all in the train station, in the uh, on the buses in L.A., London. The, the banners were everywhere on the side of the buildings, everywhere. See the power. Of, this is powerful marketing that Jay Z did. Powerful. See the idea is. Is you want to be everywhere but nowhere all at the same time. Now, sometimes when people say their messages or their, their banners don't work, it's because of what they have on the banner, on the billboard. What's the message that's on the banner or on the billboard? What what are they saying? What's the text? Now, being that who Jay-Z is, it doesn't really matter what he says on the billboard or the cover. He says 4, 4, 444. It doesn't really matter because he's built a brand over time, over what, 20 years. So it doesn't matter what he has on any billboard or any banner. People are going to buy into it anyway because he's Jay-Z. And when they think of Jay-Z, they don't like Jay-Z. They're a fan of Jay-Z. They buy into his music. His, his, his businessman, his celebrity, his entrepreneur, etc. But me and you, we're not Jay-Z. So we, if we have a banner, our banner, our billboard, has to speak directly to our ideal client, our fan. People that we want to take their money out, or credit card out their pocket, and spend money. That's the end goal. See, we have to be thinking like that. We can't think that we're some big company or or someone with a big name or that created a brand around them. Because we don't have millions or billions of dollars like they do. So we have to think two or three steps ahead, we have to think of what what do we want to happen? What's the end goal? 
before we invest into any banner, any marketing, we have to think about what do we, what do we want people to do when they see our marketing tools, whether it's a banner, whether it's a website, whether it's a video, whether it's a, a newsletter, whether it's an article, what do we want them to do after they see it? We want to give them a call to action. We want to say, hey, pick up the phone and call us today and you get half price off for a limited time only. You know, or you say, hey, if you want more of this information, go buy my book at my website. We want to give people a call to action. If you need help with this, I'll give you a 30-minute consultation directly with me. You want to give them a call to action, something like that. Those are just examples that I've used over the past 10 years, online and offline. So this is why marketing is very important because marketing is like the engine behind what you have to sell. So, so you you have so I study big brands, big successful brands like Google, Yahoo, Microsoft. I study certain celebrities too. Jay Z is one of them. Fifty Cent, uh, Mariah Carey. Uh, it's a lot of people that I that I, I read. I read their books. You know, a lot of people have come up with books and they tell their stories how they came about. I buy books like this. Breakthrough copyright. Books like this. That's you know, and I learn see learn all the trials and tribulations that these people been through. And as long as I get one good idea, one big idea, I'm good with that. You know, and I tried to take that idea and put it towards what I'm doing. So if you want help with this, click the link below this video and register for your free account. And you start using some of these ideas that Jay-Z did to promote his brand new CD. And, if, and it's been downloaded illegally over one million times. Downloaded illegally over one million times. And it's sold over one million times. Legally. <laughs> so that's two million uh, people have heard, at least have heard his CD, illegally and legally. So you got a million hard copies so far and a million digital copies. But the but regardless of whatever they paid for or didn't, it's out there in the universe. And people like it. And they want it because they saw his banner and his billboards everywhere but he was at home so you want to structure your business your opportunity just like he did you want to be everywhere but nowhere all at the same damn time so if you want to learn that click the link below and register for your free account today and if you like what you heard subscribe share this video with in your social media networks. Until next time, I'm Lopez. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.